Well, hello there. It's Beards and Bangers. And today we are off to the NEC because Penny is on the Rover Owners Club stand at the Practical Classics Restoration Show. So we're going to get in there, we'll get the car parked up and detailed, or just clean, clean up a little bit. And then hopefully we'll be able to see a little bit of the, uh, the preparation. The hall's filling up today, it's Thursday morning. Um, I'm actually going to be back at the show for another video on Sunday, so actually seeing all the cars, but we'll have a little look at the area we're in, hopefully see uh, some of the guys from the Rover Owners Club, uh, the Zev Register, and uh, we'll get along there in just a sec once we get through these roadworks, which is slightly frustrating. Welcome to Beards and Bangers. Right, so we just got to the NEC. I think we're going the right way. Um, a lot of other vehicles around. You can probably see, hopefully, see through the uh, camera. But I'm concentrating on getting in. Um, we've got a um, marina, a brown marina, looking very rusty on a trailer. Over there. That looks very nice. Um, something in front in a tr covered trailer. Got a Ford. Uh, I think it's a very early Transit behind me, which obviously you, got, you guys can't see. Um, Oh, this is very interesting. And I've just spotted a couple of MGs. So I think we'll head over there. Opal Monza, we just drove past on a trailer with its rear quarter missing. That looks like it's going to take shape very nicely. So I will get in and uh, hopefully be able to get the camera out and just have a look at some of the um, the cars in the what I would imagine is the piece of today, even though it's chaotic with getting people in. Um, I'm imagining there's going to be a lot of people here. The NEC gets busy, so I imagine there'll be a lot of people here on Sunday when I come as a visitor. So uh, let's get in the hall and see what's going on in a sec. Morning, sir. Morning. Have uh, you done the site induction, safety induction? No. Okay, can you come out for me? Yeah. Uh, do you have a cell phone? Yes. All right. Here we are. So I just spotted Dan Hooper, so he will direct me to my spot. Oh, isn't this exciting? Some nice scimitars. We're near. Oh, there's biomorphic ZR. There's Rob. Ah, here we are. Hello, hello. Back in, am I backing in there? I do. Yeah, that's about right, mate. Yeah, like, we'll probably end up moving them anyway. <laughs> Turn it off. Now in the NEC, I'm going to show you the Rover Owners Club stand. So here we are. Just four cars, but three wonderful cars and, and Penny. Uh, so we've got James's lovely Poseidon um, 75 V8. Absolutely gorgeous car. I've been following his uh, progress, getting it out of hub winter hibernation and detailing it this week. So it's a real honour to be next to this thing. Of course, you know this car because it's Penny. We've then got Reese's rather nice. And you've seen this car before on my channel, but Reese wasn't driving it because Adam was driving it. But here's Reese's Garnet Mark 125. Absolutely lovely colour. It's not, people think it's like fire frost or something like that. It's not. It's a monogram colour, it's, and it's called Garnet. So, uh, absolutely beautiful car. I think it's, it's uh, one of one, isn't it? One of one. This, yeah. yeah, so it's the only, what, only 25 in Garnet. Uh, absolutely stunning. And then we've got Adam's Solar Red, Flame Red, one of those colours. 
200 coupe. Um, do I love the white uh, straights on it? They really do work really well. Um, so that's us. This is a uh, stand. I think it's 375 in hall five. Um, so that's us. Uh, this metro was being dragged by the ZT 260, uh, and then over here we've got. We haven't got any gazebos or banners up yet, but we've got the Z Register and Young MG Owners Club group. So we've got these two uh, monogram ZRs, which we've seen before. I think Rob owns one and his son, whose name I forget, owns the other. We've got an MG3 just backing in there as well. So all MGs are here. There's an MG6 over there. Um, we've got a couple of older MGs on the stand. So we've got this rather nice BGT, which we followed in um, on mini lights, and that's very attractive. This is the magnet that we saw on the trailer a moment ago. These are lovely things. Just look at that. Look at that dash. Look at the binnacle with the half octagon for the Speedo. So it's half, half the MG octagon, basically. Lovely, lovely burr walnut dash. Um, we've got this ZR special here i think that's probably the, the fairest thing of calling it i can't don't know what this one is i'm not sure i've seen this one before but it's monogram lagoon um not a color you see that often but great to see a monogram here uh, rather nice gold bronze gold don't know what color you call that mg6 here car we've seen on the channel before um dan hooper's rather nice uh flame red 820 Vitesse. This thing was an absolute hoot to drive. And that's here. Rob John's biomorphic ZR, which sounds rather nice. Tweaking the position of the car there. So that's the kind of the MG MG Rover bit here. But if we have a look, the hall is, is filling up. So we'll have, a, we'll have a we'll fly around. Obviously, we're not going to go around every car in detail because we're going to save that for the actual walk round or review video on Sunday. But we'll have a, just have a little flavour. We've got Midlands Minis here. So we'll have a, have a look at those on Sunday in more detail. It's a real frisson of anticipation and excitement. Got some little specials here. My dad, have to, we'll have a chat with these guys on Sunday, that's for sure, because uh, they look interesting. We've got Talbot's. Sunbeam Talbot's here, it's a Lotus, Lotus Talbot there. So we'll have a little look at that another day. Um, the scimitars are lined up here. So the middle, middle bridge scimitars. Don't know if I've seen this one here before, but I kind of recognize it. But aren't, they, aren't they wonderful? Aren't they lovely? Really nice, we've got some XJs XJS's in the middle. So we'll, we'll, we'll catch these guys. And look at this, Mark, Mark III Cavalier. Isn't that, isn't that absolutely gorgeous? And we've got a little A30 or A35 next to it. Uh, Humber, Scepter? Humber Scepter, got it, got it right. Mark II. Mark II. And we've got something Japanese behind it, Nissan 300ZX. That's that's a beast. Look at that. We've got modern, modernish Japanese sporting loveliness there, and then we've got classical British elegance next to it. Isn't that nice? So we've got, still got a lot of gaps in the hall, and it's quite nice to come in here while it's relatively empty, and there's a lot of activity going on. Um, some discos over there, some dolomites, triumphs. That's, that's good to see. I'm wandering over here deliberately because I want to have a quick look at this white Calibra because a white Calibra is kind of mid-90s middle manager kind of territory with cars. There are some, oh, there's some, we'll, have, we'll, we'll dart over there in a sec. We've got some various Rover products, which we'll have a look at. But that white Calibra is quite charming. Vectra. And then we've got some more Rover stuff going on here. So we've got an SD1. We've got a car that I semi-recognise because it belongs to Mr. Grey. Hello, Mr. Grey. <laughs> so yeah, Husley's, Husley's a sibling there. 
nice gold 75 and an auntie p4 green p6 so we, we'll whiz around here properly on sunday a bit more bit more a bit more leisurely oh it's a nice one for you there adrian red series and then what have we got here this this looks rover-ish what rover is it a rover 10 now we saw one of these at studley castle and it was uh, that was in immaculate condition this one is hopefully going to be restored freelander 2 i suspect that's being daily oh that that's lovely that um estora well a proper look inside you on on sunday some more or oh, more low blimey they're everywhere rovers just springing up so we'll, we'll we won't dwell on this, I'll give you a little bit of a preview. Um, looks like the BRMs are here. And I think my mate Tony's over there. Rover 200 Coupe's there. So we'll, so we'll stop and chat to people in a bit more detail on Sunday when we've got more time. So here's one of the early, one of the WOM cars. And we know this car because we see it. Hey, here's, here's Tony with his... Nice to meet Lovely you, Lovely BRM. Hello, men. Nice to see you again. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Nice yeah. Setup. Yes. Detailed. Good. Yeah, we're just doing a bit of a preview video. Good. Nice one. Yeah. Had the uh, my street riders over there. Brilliant. I'll be over to have a look at that. Yeah. 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 So we look, we know this car. If you watch, watch my Hook Norton videos, you will see this lovely example of BRM. This is what my BRM will hopefully look like. Well, hopefully by the end of uh, the weekend, we'll be... Um, ceramic coated we're going to do full machine polish uh, so the works so come back at the end of the weekend and uh, come back and take another look brilliant we will do that so you're going to be doing some sort of live live detailing yeah, and live detailing brilliant so yeah so come and have a look if you Fair. understand come and ask, ask questions hopefully i'll answer them for you okay so we're in the we're in the court the opposite corner to where i am so i think we're stand 375 i don't know what number this one is but uh 915 uh, 915 so pop along see the brms um Tony's really nice example is going to be detailed, so do come here and have a look at the BRMs because they're very nice. So we'll, 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 we will also come back here on Sunday and have a, a good look. Um, oh, this, this looks like John Batchelor's car that's going to be sold as the Rover 200 and 400 Owners Club, and they restore a car and then um, they'll sell this this weekend it hasn't already sold i don't have not seen any updates that it has sold um but we'll have a that's a really nice color and that jags rather rather spiffing so everyone's setting up nissan's there and then oh granada state that's beautiful that is and oh look we've got to stop at this a harvest gold allegro looks like pretty looks like a pretty basic one so it's very much like adrian's that's that's really nice that's beautiful in fact well, i think that's the reverend cork the ex longbridge chaplain polishing it and the marina we saw coming in earlier and then this is the other marina we saw coming in which is one that's going to be looks like it's going to be saved looks like it hasn't got an engine because it's uh, sitting a bit high on the front get back over here some sunbeams sunbeam Alpines. I don't know if we're going to get a tiger here. Maybe they don't allow tigers into their alpine club, but still filling in, still filling up. It's a Calibra, left-hand drive Calibra came in a while ago, and that just sounded fantastic. So we'll do a quick Morris Minor pickup. Body there. So you've got cars that have been restored that are in, like James's um, 75 V8, that are you know pretty much immaculate. And then you've got stuff that's literally been dragged out of a field and a barn. So it's not, you know, this isn't a concourse show. That's very nice. It sounds very smooth. I'm just going to quickly skirt around him. It smells lovely. Jaguar XK there, isn't that, isn't that pretty? What a lovely thing. And then a more Moggy Miner in Duck Egg Blue. We've got some more bits and bobs. Another P6 over there. So we're doing well for British cars. There's a lot of British metal here. Ah, this is interesting. So the MG Owners Club. 
have got the Cybester here. So yeah, the new MG Cybester next to the last MG convertible. A TF, very nice TF. In, is that Celestial or Azure? It's a monogram, that's for sure. So you're probably going to see loads of videos. It's just nice to be able to wander around and hear oneself think before the, the throng that will be here over the weekend. So, it's, of course, if you are going to come, I'll try and get this video out today so it's in real time. So starting Friday, tomorrow, 22nd, and then um, finishing Sunday evening. So three days to get up here. I believe there's still tickets available online. So do come and see us, but when you, when you do come, please make sure you check out the, the Rover Owners Club stand, the Z Register, and also please do check out the, the BRMs as well and see Tony detailing his lovely BRM, which is one of my favorite cars ever, out. And we're back, back to where we started. So we'll just quickly, uh, schlep over here so we've got more stuff going on over there and I think the actually oh, some nice minis we'll have a we'll have a good gander at those they're specials as well they look very good also oh Ford Escort XR3s beautiful Must, mustn't give too much away now but um and I think the pre the live stage is going to be over here so PC will be doing their live restoration and I have to admit I've not been reading that much this this year I've been too bloody busy um, so I've got no idea what car they're actually restoring but yeah panels we've got the stage up here with the uh, where they'll have some panel discussions and various things I believe this is Matt Tompkins one of the writers at Peace uh, Practical Classics Austin 7 special that's one one thing I have been reading a lot of um, is following this car so and that's yeah that's quite special that that's really rather nice so there we are getting getting set up um that'll be it for my coverage i'll spin you around so thank you for watching this uh, getting to the nec bit of a preview as to what's going to be happening here over the next few days um hopefully we'll get plenty of uh, interest in penny and uh, oh, another Another Practical Classics car going in there. Nice mini estate. Beautiful. And uh, yeah, hopefully we'll get some good footage on Sunday. And if you are coming, I hope you have a really good time. If not, myself and other YouTubers will be doing plenty of videos over the next few days. So do keep an eye out for those. Thank you for watching Beards and Bangers. Don't forget to hit subscribe, like, do all that stuff, share, blah, 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 blah. And I'll see you again in the next episode very soon. Goodbye.